day one of our project starts today. We haven't met the students yet. We've never been to the site before. We don't know what the rehearsal space looks like, but hopefully, fingers crossed, it all works out for the best. Uh, we're excited to see what we're gonna create together. The whole concept of the project is really to have a cross-cultural exchange between artists from the UK and UAE. And we've got three days to work with the students here in UAE to create a Pangra dance performance and the challenge is they've never done Pangra before and hopefully Thursday evening we'll put on something for people to remember for many years to come. I'm really excited to learn and to challenge myself. I haven't been in the learning zone as a person for a, a long time, I've always been the teacher. So um, yeah, we'll see, <laughs> see how that stacks up. The ruler of Sharjah has an incredible vision and a passion to elevate the talent and the skill level of the next generation of performers from this beautiful region. So he has uh, invested a huge amount of love and energy into building an incredible facility here. And what we have is the first ever full-time training in professional performing art. So we're at the academy and now we're just watching the students doing some of their art forms. Always interesting to watch, learn and observe. They've all got a really good mixture of backgrounds of, um, of dance skills. So, you know, as well as it as for them to teach them, they can teach us a few things as well. Right, shall we form a circle and sit ourselves down? So, as we know, we are really thrilled to welcome Cohesion Plus to the Academy. They're here to obviously work on this incredible collaborative project with us this week that's going to result in a, what we hope is going to be a really amazing performance on Thursday evening. What that looks like, none of us know. We've got ideas, we've got suggestions, but really the whole purpose of this week is to get to know each other as dance artists and to see what we can share to create a, a performance opportunity at the end of the week. After watching the guys do their warm up and the class that I did with Alex now, um, I was thinking the routine that we were actually going to teach them may be a bit too basic uh, because their dance level is a pretty high standard. So I've literally just made a new routine up with the guys about five minutes ago and we're going to be teaching them next. <laughs> Seven. Guys, we're ready whenever you want to come up into the stage, please. What would you guys do? Can we first have your left hand up in the air, right hand facing forward? <laughs> Students are picking up the steps really well. Um, it was a good choice uh, to change the routine at the last moment because I think if we did the basic routine uh, we basically would have flown through that so these steps are slightly harder than we anticipated teaching them but I think they're really really picking the steps up well so I'm really impressed so far job well done it might feel strange you doing this when the drum starts playing the drum beats gonna make you move your shoulders so I got at the moment I got if you can't get the shoulders don't worry about it let's get the bulk of it right yeah. first yeah right. We've just introduced the ball drum and the students are really picking it out well. I was expecting them to go out a beat, to be honest with you, on the first time we did it when I played the door of the changeover beat, but 99% of them picked it up on cue, so it's all looking good. Onwards and upwards, as they say. The harvest dance. So normally, when people were working in the farms, they would use something to make sure everyone's working at the same time. So when they're cutting the crops and stuff, there's a chant called hoi. If you imagine, there'd you know, be 50 people in a line, and as they're cutting, they be doing boy or they be singing a song and the artists are moving forward, everyone's doing it at the same time. Five, six, seven, change. One, two, three. Hey! One, two, three. Hey! One, two, three. Hey! One, two, three. Hey! One, two, three. One, two, One, two, turn. One, two, turn. One, two, turn. One, two, turn. That's it. Good. Right, let's do it from the beginning, yeah? The band where it's a very high intense dance there is no really you know get out clause where you know you can just slow the routine down completely so it's going to be high tempo and intense all the way through the movements aren't very difficult but what is really hard in this style is giving energy 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 it's like it takes 
so much uh, excitement and fun and the music helps and then you're like I can't jump anymore this is too much <laughs> Bangra is, um, is a lot about the rhythm groundedness being a little bit more loose in the body and it's almost like asking them to do the complete opposite of what we've been teaching them okay so ready if we just do the step previously ready five six seven eight Physically, it's a lot more challenging than I think any of us might have accounted for. Um, only this morning, quite a lot of students have been just taking some time to uh, try and rehabilitate their legs. <laughs> it's the impact on, on the feet and in, in the lower leg that seems to be uh, quite challenging. Um, and uh, again, in a, in a sort of conventional dance training system that we, we supply in our timetable, we probably wouldn't repeat that sort of movement that often. Um, so that's a different kind of strength and stamina that's required and, and having it impressed in such a, sh a short space of time is, is a challenge for sure. This is a, like a real ensemble dance training yep. where everyone has to match it's and be, be identical. Rigid. So it's a new skill for them, although the movement, as you identified before you even came, the movement content potentially isn't a challenge for them. A lot of their performance opportunities as a group have been as individuals yeah. doing solo work. Yeah. This is their first ever group performance where they're all doing the same choreography at the same time in the same way so that's why it's an interesting process for them so you're taking your hands up you're doing that don't, don't take your hands up what? just just below your chest ah. make sure your legs are moving all the time okay what some of you are doing you're doing this you're going one and you're skipping and you're doing the step okay So, as Louis and I was about today, we worked really hard with the students so far, but today it's about connecting it all together. It's not just about them remembering the routine, but also us, because it's a new routine for us as well. It's just interesting for me to sit back this morning and see, and see some of their kind of, you can see the cogs whirring in their brain, and you yeah. go, yeah, this is a different, yeah. it's a different game, actually. There's huge skill in the building, there's huge drive and ambition, but suddenly this morning I'm like, okay, <laughs> it's tomorrow. I'm not worried. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not worried. Seven, change, move, move, move. Three, four, and so move, move, down, move. Three, four, yeah. and move, move, move. Right, just remember your formation, just remember your positioning, yeah? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, change. We've added the movements into the routine. Uh, dancers are slightly struggling with it. Again, what they're doing, they're moving. If they're moving at the right time, they're not dancing in beat with the drum. Um, if they're dancing in beat with the drum, they're forgetting to move. Move across, in the gap. Good, let me see your face. In the gap, please. That's it, in the gap. In the gap. He's doing that now. Yeah, he's doing this as well with his hand. He's really over it. Okay, so yeah, the problem yeah. with that, he's going that beat. We need to make sure we hit that downbeat. Boom. Mandy. I know it's been a long day. Okay. It seems like everybody's switching off, including you guys as well. Yeah? What I'm saying is, listen to what I'm saying. Why are you guys marking out your position on stage? How do you know where he's going to stop? He's not going to stop at the same marking point every time, is he? Yeah? You can stupid things like that, but it's wasting time. Yeah, you're gonna have to follow the lead. Wherever he stops, you just work around it. You just make sure you're in the gap. Basically, we haven't got that long now. They basically, we should have finished about 10 minutes ago. Yeah, so we're well over our schedule. Really, we could do another hour, maybe two hours, but we haven't got that time. So my thing now is, switch your brains on. Yeah, let's just get the next 20, I'm gonna get another 20 minutes. We've got to do the freestyle section yet. We haven't even worked on that yet. Boys, come on, three times. Yeah. Yeah. Three minutes, really. Energy time. Come on. Step let's go, come on. Guys, let's go, come on. I want to do this routine three more times and then we're going to do your improvisation. I usually don't feel much before a performance because I'd rather focus on what we can do now to improve further until tomorrow. I just hope it's going to be like something really interesting and fun and like 
<laughs> I hope the audience like really likes the performance. That's it. I didn't see it coming, bro. I didn't see it coming. I'm so happy. I was amazed, bro. We did a great job, you know. I'm proud of this spa. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much, spa. You give me the opportunity. Without you guys, I wouldn't have been here, man. It felt like so good. The energy was amazing. The audience absolutely loved it. The vibe, like the harmony with the, with Cohesion Plus, it was really, really good. There was points in the rehearsal where it felt a bit touch and go, which is what rehearsals are, but the fact that we've condensed it into such a short space of time made it so kind of intense today. And then, as you always hope and dream, it really came to life in a beautiful, emotional moment. And every time I watch our students perform, I always feel so humbled and honoured to be part of their learning, but a night like tonight was so kind of on a different level. When they clapped, when they cheered, I was like, wow. I mean, they're doubling up their energy. I think they have more energy than we do. The, the energy, the everything, it was amazing. And all of that in four days, it's, it's awesome. It's very awesome, especially with this group, Cohesion Plus, they were amazing. The energy, the collaboration, and when I knew that it was only four day rehearsal, like, I, I found it really impressive to see this outcome. I was just amazed. They really, really smashed it. And the, the students, the work that they'd done together was extraordinary. In four days, they come up with that kind of performance. Uh, I was just blown away by it. And I think the rest of the audience were too. Cohesion Plus, Sharjah Performing Arts Academy, that's a wrap!